dear paper nerdians, this is the paper nerd Elise with a uh, beautiful baby boy junk journal. Um, this is a little bit thinner, doesn't have too much in it, but still packed. So um, let's start with this, the front. I hand dyed this myself and you can see in this heart how nice that turned out on the little swirls and stuff in the fabric. Um, this is again a 3D journal, a little heart here in the middle. And let's uh, begin. So we come into the inside, there's two big pockets. Put a little tag in, <clears throat> sorry, a little tag in here. Relax. And then a bookmark in the big pocket. I started with a, a plate. I thought that was appropriate maybe to put a picture of the baby boy in the middle. Also, don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it. The little feet that were cut out. I just love this, uh, this little thingy here. I got this from my friend Heather in Michigan. Thank you so much, Heather. I love it. Um, <clears throat> sorry, we're starting with the uh, first edging here, which is a little blue lace, and let's come in the journal pages. I did um, stencil this in blue, blank pages, then what I did again, uh, you catch the drift already with the baby feet here. I put a red heart in here with a feather and another edging. Um, this is the um, antique pages here, that's why the edging is like that. Then come into the next page. It looks like an envelope, but it's one of those things where you just fold it out for either more journaling or you can put pictures of your baby boy in there. Another antique page with the feet stamp. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. That's, oops, sorry about that. That was the tripod. There you go. Baby feet. And then I took this out of a little golden book. A little train here. And again, as I always do with baby books, I put a little diaper here with the safety pins, another big red heart, and one of my bows in blue polka dot. We got a white edging here. Oops. Then I put a, there you go, I put a, as an edging, a ribbon which is actually, I don't, I don't think you can see it that well, but it goes from the light blue into the dark blue, like one of those umber things. Another blank page with, uh, with the stencil. I stenciled it in blue. Um, we come to an antique page. I'm so sorry, it doesn't really get it the way I, how I have my tripod anyways. Come into this um, antique page where I put a little envelope. Again, this great idea to fold the envelope out. Put it a little bit higher. There you go. And you can either journal in here or put pictures in here. Fold it back up. There you go. It just stays as it is. So there's no big closure or anything you need. Some line pages, journal pages with the baby feet again. I just love those things. <laughs> By now you should uh, know that, right? <laughs> uh, there's a white edging lace. More journaling pages. Another uh, stenciled page on the edge. More journaling pages. Now line journaling pages. And again, I stenciled this here a little bit uh, with the blue edging. So, of course, you can write over that. It's just a U of, of blue, so to speak, from the stencil line page. 
And then I got something pretty cool, like a little pocket, so it actually opens up. Let me show you. It actually opens up, and I left it open. But you can uh, certainly press it down to keep it closed. Again, the little feet right there. Another sten uh, antique page, another sten stencil page. Just blank journaling pages. And there we got a little Dumbo. And another white edging. I guess I'm going this way. You can see it better. Um, more of the antique rough edges. <clears throat> Sorry, rough edges. Um, pages of the journaling page is sorry blank journaling pages one more and then we come to the last page where I added a little tea bag card in the last pocket here and again I signed it there you go personally signed it on my little tag Alrighty, so, sorry, let me straighten out the camera a little bit here, sorry, whoops, <laughs> ah, that tripod, alrighty, so if, uh, there you go, so if you like this, if you're interested in um, making or purchasing junk journals, uh, let me know, subscribe to my channel, uh, give me a thumbs up, um, whatever you want to do, have your little comments under there, see how you liked it, or if you have any kind of criticism, that's welcome to. Um, so now, uh, if, if by now you haven't known this yet, due to my previous um, video about the baby girl junk journal, um, if you want to, if you want to stay for the chitter chatter, you're more than welcome to, if not, you can certainly, uh, quit the video now, but let's come to talk. Uh, let's come to the channel. If you, uh, went through my history of this channel, you probably wonder why I have motivational videos and keto um, keto diet or keto lifestyle videos on there. Well, last year I tried the keto lifestyle and it was great and I lost a lot of weight and I felt just very, very good. Not because of the losing weight, but also it really gives you a lot of energy and uh, you are not as hungry. You don't have those cravings. Of course, in the in the very get go, since keto is uh, no carbs, no sugar or very little carbs, because sometimes you can't avoid carbs in in certain things you eat, but they are very minimal. Anyways, um Coming back to to the keto, um, it made me feel really good, and uh, I don't even know why I quit keto uh, for a while there, but I'm certainly going to pick it up here uh, very soon again because I don't like what I see in the mirror, and I don't like what I see uh, with the clothes, you know, and I have really, really, really nice clothes, lots of them, but uh, it doesn't look so good when you look like you're in a sausage or something so it's got to be flattering clothing and I don't want to give nothing away and I don't want to buy any new clothes um, <laughs> so it's not that vanity thing um, that's that's the the lesser of it uh, number one is with keto I just felt very good I had a very high energy level uh, I slept very good through the night um, just everything was better and you don't have those cravings of the sugar of the carb so um yeah it was just and the pain a little less pain i have uh bad knees so it was a little less pain there and i know it would have been going better but i uh quit too soon i just did it for a few months and then um 
yeah, that devil of sugar got a hold of me. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, I got to most definitely uh, start up my keto again. It is easier than you think, but that's enough of keto. If you want to know more about it, there's plenty of videos on my channel about that. Um, so let's come to, hmm, who could we talk about? How about my assistant, Daisy? Uh, the little short story of that is that Daisy is a, a part beagle, part pit bull. I am absolutely happy that she got the smarts and the bark of the pit bull. Um, because I, to be honest with you, I would have not been able to handle that. Arr, 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 what those, uh, beagles do um <laughs> that's that's the short of it um how i got her it's like i didn't find her she found me i was working in retail a few years ago and uh, i was working in one of them big box uh stores uh hardware stores big box hardware stores and they have a garden department i was working in the garden department when that dog just walked in and I fell in love and that was it. I took her home with me um, after my shift. And since then, like I said, she found me. She was my rescue. Um, not uh, uh, not that, you know, she rescued me. Let's say it this way. She rescued me and not the other way around because I didn't rescue her. She rescued me. She came right there. She found me. And since then, we are best friends and roommates. And she's my little assistant. You have maybe seen short videos of her in any of my junk journal videos. So I have her now. Um, I don't know when her birthday was. I am guessing she was one or two years old when she first uh, came to me. Um, I have her now since uh, 2011. So that makes it uh, eight years uh, that I got her. So on, on, on every, uh, November 10th, that's when, when she came to me every, every year on November 10th, that's what I, uh, see as her birthday. So that's when she has a little birthday celebration. Either I cook, cook her something special or she gets a toy or both. You know how that is. Um, she has replaced any kind of child. So she is a member of my little family, which is only her and myself. Uh, yeah, let's come to myself. I am 52 years old, turning 53 on June 30th this year. Uh, that makes me exactly the same age as Mike Tyson, the boxer. We have, we share our birthday together and the birth year. So when I'm turning 53, he's turning 53. Um, am I thrilled about it? Well, I don't know. Uh, he seems like a very funny guy. I mean, you know, I laugh a lot and I liked him in The Hangover, of course. Um, that's all I have to say to that. Um, I do have dreadlocks. When I turned 50, I decided, okay, um, I always wanted dreadlocks, but... When you're younger, it's harder. Let's say, number one, it's harder to get a job. Number two, everybody is going like, oh, do you even wash your hair? Which is a total stupid question. Uh, and then the most stupidest question of them all is when they go like, oh, doesn't that take a long time in the morning to do your hair like that? Really? This is permanent. It's not going away unless you... Uh, brush it out or you um, shave your head. I did not shave my head yet, but last year I had this this weird, evil uh, feeling that I had to brush them out and I did and I regretted it. I so regretted it. I was miserable. I was physically ill. Why I did it, I don't know. From one day to the other, I decided to take my dreadlocks out and I absolutely regretted it. Yes, I have my dreadlocks back, but I have to start all over again. So I have them since October. It's January now. I have them since October. Um, I, I go through all the stages. If you don't know um, what, how to get dreadlocks or how to have them, how to take care of them, 
Uh, one of the stages is the looping, so it looks just horrible. They are not looking like ropes, like real dreadlocks, but they are looping, and everybody else will tell you, oh, I love them loops. No, I don't love them loops. I want them dreaded like they were before, nice tight ropes. Um, that's going to take a little while, and also what you will have is shrinkage. So if you have long hair, like let's say to your butt, that long hair to your butt will shrink, can shrink all the way up to uh, pretty much just touching your shoulders. So I want to see how this is going. But like I said, I am in month four of my dreadlocks now. Uh, the best I can hope for is that they compact real quick and, and get rid of those loops. Um yeah, and uh, with my age, I think, uh, especially now, I should have something like that, something I always wanted. Um, yeah, all of us do the bucket list, and if you get a little older, then, yeah, you, you are in a hurry. <laughs> you are just in a hurry. Uh, with the dreadlocks, I never had a problem. Uh, nobody, all I got was comments. I never got dirty looks or anything. I think it has to do if when you're a little bit older, then people think, well, you know, they're more respectful, especially people in your age, because, um, you know, if somebody younger has dreadlocks and an older per person comes by, yeah, and they don't know anything about dreadlocks, they go like, oh, what a dirty, ugh. but if you're a little bit older and, um, uh, they, I think they think, oh, well, she, she's knowing what she's doing or, ooh, cool. Or, man, I, I wish I could do that. I wish I would look good with it. You know what? Everybody looks good with dreadlocks. If you doubt if you're looking good with or without it, then you should not have dreadlocks. So if you have any doubts, don't, don't do it, okay? Um, that is all so far for our first chit-chat. Uh, please leave a comment let me know if you want to know anything, if you have any questions. Um, I know this was nothing at all about junk journals. Uh, the next time we have the chit chat, I'm going right to that, how I got to be, uh, to, to make junk journals, the passion in that. Uh, and I do it with a passion. If you watched a few of my videos, you know that I have a lot of passion so so they are like uh, the junk journals are like my babies and every every time I give one away or I sell one it is like I'm giving one of my children away okay so like I said um, let's talk uh, the next video uh, let me know if you know if you want to know anything let me know if you want to have me discuss anything let me know, hey, paper nerd, what do you think about this and that? I will absolutely answer you as long as it is questions in the realm of uh, reality and legality. <laughs> okay, let's say it this way. All right, you have a great day as always, and I will talk to you the next time. Bye.